Hey everyone, we are back and we are ready to focus for VBS day four. I'm ready to focus, how about you? Yes, I'm so glad that you're here with me today. It's gonna be an awesome day of focusing on God. But when you focus on something, you discover a lot more about whatever you focus on. You take a closer look and that's when you find out something that maybe you never knew before. Like me, for example. Do you know everything about me? Did you know I have a collection of over 100 pairs of socks? No, you probably didn't know that. But did you know that I have never, I have never, ever broken a single bone in my body? No, probably not, you probably didn't know that. But did you know that my favorite superhero is the Flash? No, you probably didn't know that either. Maybe you did know one or two of those things, but you probably didn't know all of those things. So how would you get to know me better? You would need to spend time with me. I bet if you go to Kid Zone on Sunday mornings, you would know at least one of those things about me. You see, the more time we spend with someone, the more we know them. If you spend every Sunday morning in Kid Zone focusing on me, you would probably know me pretty well. We might even become BFFs. But in Kid Zone, we don't focus on me. In Kid Zone, we focus on God. We can get to know God better when we focus on Him. That could mean paying attention to the amazing world He's created. It could mean hearing from Him by reading the Bible. It could mean talking about Him with other people who follow Him. Now we've got another great way to focus on God. Those were great ways, but we've got another great way today. Before we can do that, you can probably guess what comes first. That's right, a super fun game, it's called Super Zoom. All right, we're gonna play a Super Zoom game and you're, ab you're about to take a very close look at some something extremely zoomed in. And let me just tell you, this is pretty wild. Try to see how many of these images you can get correct. You'll see the image for about 10 seconds and then it'll reveal what it is. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Wow, those were tough. How many did you get right? 
two, three, maybe four, five, six, seven, all eight. Great job. It's time to zoom in and focus on God's love for us as we sing to him. So I want you to get up on your feet. I'm going to be singing here on the screen too. I want you to get up on your feet so we can worship him together. Here we go.
<clears throat> Perfect. All right, I'm ready. Come on over. <laughs> okay, do you know what this is? I know. Uh, that is a keyboard for an old computer. No, it's not. It's clearly a heated ice cream scooper from the future. Actually, you're both wrong. It's a phone. No, it's not. No, no. You've lost your mind. Okay, no, I have not lost my mind. This is really a phone, I promise. Um, okay, what, what's a phone number you know off the top of your head? Um, easy. 555-9080, Mario's Pizza. I always have to note in case I'm in a pizza emergency and my phone has died. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So if you were to call Mario's Pizza, Ooh. this is how you'd do it. Five. 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 Nine. Nine. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Zero's right there. taking so long, why? <laughs> Can you believe people used to communicate this way? And at that time, this was the future. Like before this, people had phones, but the whole neighborhood was on a single line. So when you tried to call somebody. Hello? Hey, Samantha, it's Wilson. Hi, Wilson. <laughs> As I was saying, anyone who was on the line could pick up and answer. Uh, Kyle, I'm trying to talk here. Sorry. Anywho, how's it going? It's pretty good. <laughs> and before that, we had the invention of the telegraph, where you could type in messages using Morse code. You know what that was? Lol. <laughs> Texting takes forever on this thing. And before that, people relied on letters. And even before that... Hey, what does this one say? Huh, uh, watch more. Closer look. <gasps> we have always had a desire to communicate. I myself have like so many ideas I just want to get out and share with the world. And we have countless inventions that can help us do just that. Some are incredibly impressive, like the smartphone. I mean, if you showed a smartphone to your grandparents' parents, their minds would be blown. Still though, there are some old timey ways of communicating that are still just as good. More on that after this. Hello? Hi, Steenie, everyone. I love to be able to worship God with you. Now, let's zoom in and focus on God's Word. Take it away, Kellen. Yeah. So I ate an entire funnel cake, and then I got on the double Ferris wheel. Over. Oh, I think I know where this is going. I bet that funnel cake didn't care for the ride, did it? Over. Oh, no. And there I was at the top, and then my stomach started to do a thing. Well, you know. And then I look down, and I see my Aunt Flossie, and then... Oh. <laughs> Gotta go, Blue Lizard. Maybe we can chat later. Over. Sure thing, Desert Turtle. Hey, everyone. Kellen here, and we've been talking this week about how we can take a closer look at the world around us and how God is at work in our world and in our lives. And that requires us to focus. Now, a lot of times when we talk about focusing, we think about what we can see with our eyes, but sometimes we need to focus our attention on something. Like, say you have to finish your homework and your mom or dad say you need to focus on your assignment before you can go outside and play with your friends. We can also focus with other senses. 
Now, there's a lot of noise in our world. We have computers and tablets, cell phones, commercials, YouTube, video games, a lot of things that want to get your attention. Kellen? Kellen. 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 <sighs> so yeah, a lot of things can get our attention. So how do we focus on what matters? This week, we've tried to take a closer look at the things God has created and focus on some of the stories of Jesus. When we pay close attention, we can see things that point us to a God who loves us and wants to be a part of our lives. But how does God want to be a part of your life? Well, one way is prayer. But what is prayer? How do we pray? It's a tough question, isn't it? I mean, we have this God who we know loves us and did some incredible things for us, like send us Jesus. But how do we talk to God? Thankfully, in the book of Matthew, we have a story written about Jesus where he talked about prayer. Jesus was talking with his disciples and gives them a prayer they can pray. This is sometimes called the Lord's Prayer. Maybe you've learned a different translation, but here's one version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. So this prayer gives us a pretty good model of how and what we should pray for and here to help me demonstrate are my best friends, John and Brandon. Hey fellas, are you ready to help me out? Sure thing. Thy truest wishes indeed proclaimed, forsooth I am ready. All right. So the prayer starts off, our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Okay. Hey God. That's it? Okay. <laughs> Thy God of the highest place, thou namest be risen from the depths to the highest of highestest. Um, okay. And the next part. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. God, I just want the world to be a little kinder. Help me to be more like Jesus to the people in the world. Oh boy. Your kingdom reigneth now and forever is more. Hear ye, hear ye. May all of us have crowns so thou kingdom cometh. Verily, verily. Hear ye, hear ye. Yeah, so I think it's a good idea to remember here that God's kingdom is a little different than what we think when we hear the word kingdom. I don't think it quite means we're all going to get actual crowns. God's kingdom is where God reigns. When we ask for God's kingdom to come, we want the world to look more like heaven. We want to see his goodness and kindness be more and more a part of this world, right here, right now. God's kingdom is the most awesome place to be. It's a place that has no sickness or pain or hunger. And that's why we want God's kingdom to come. And we want to be a part of bringing it by doing what we can to make the world look more and more like heaven. So we ask God to bring his kingdom. Right. His kingdom. Of course. So the next part, give us today our daily bread. God, you know what I need. Thank you for taking care of me. Make thou bounty reigneth on us, like manna from the heavens. Manna, manna. <laughs> Brandon's right. Jesus says God already knows what we need, but we can ask God to take care of what we need in our lives. It's not just physical bread, well, I mean it could be, but bread means the things in your life that you need. And just a reminder, there's a big difference between what you may want and what you need. 
And just a reminder, John, you don't have to use super fancy language. You can just talk to God. Oh, right. All right, last part. And forgive us our sins, just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. Hey, do you mind if I go first? God, I don't always think of others or of you. I can be selfish. Help me to make the wise choice, even when it's hard. Yeah, God. What John said. That was great. Thanks, guys. Sure thing, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. We'll see you later. Later. I think what John and Brandon showed us is really helpful. There are a lot of ideas that we get about prayer that aren't necessarily true. We think we have to pray with certain words or we have to pray at certain times of the day. Let me ask you a question. When do you have to pray? Before you eat? Nope, you don't have to. I mean, it's great to be thankful for what God gives you, and if that's a tradition in your family, that's great, but you don't have to. You could pray after your meal or anytime you're thankful for what God has given you. Pray to him then. You can just talk to God whenever you think about it. What about this? Do you have to pray out loud? No. God knows your thoughts, so you can pray silently anywhere. Sometimes it might be helpful to pray out loud to focus your mind, but it's not something you have to do. Oh, here's something else. When are the times that we should talk to God? Just when you're sad? Or just when you need something? No. We can talk to God when we're happy or when we're excited. In fact, we can talk to God about anything. You can talk to God when you're happy or when you're excited. The fact is we can talk to God about anything. Because even though you can't see God literally standing right in front of you, you can talk to God and he's always listening. Oh, and it's like you have this walkie talkie and God's on the other side and the batteries never run out and you're never out of range for God to hear you. God wants to hear from you. He wants to know what's going on in your life. And as you talk to God, you'll learn a little bit more about God and probably a little more about yourself. Well, that's all I got for you today. And I'll see you next time as we continue to take a closer look. Oh, Blue Lizard, Blue Lizard, this is Desert Turtle. Do you copy? Sometimes prayer can seem a little scary, especially if you haven't done it a whole lot before. But prayer is actually one of the most natural, most normal things that we can do. God made us to be able to pray, to talk to Him, and to be completely honest with Him. We can be ourselves when we pray. After all, God knows us better than anyone else. You can talk to God whenever you want, and you can know for sure that He will always be there to listen to you. You see, He cares about you. He wants to know what's going on in your life. In the midst of all the craziness of life, whether it's a pandemic or summer, whatever it is, with so many worries and things going on during the day, one thing you'll never regret is taking time to talk to God. You can choose to shout out all the distract shut out all the distractions in life and put all your attention on Him. And funny enough, that's what our bottom line is all about. Our bottom line is you can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Let's say that together. Are you ready? Our bottom line is you can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. As you focus on God and give Him your attention, you'll learn more about Him. You'll learn more about yourself, too. You'll discover how much God loves you, and you'll always find safety and strength in Him. I want to take a moment and have us pray about that together. So bow your heads and pray with me. God, it is such a gift that we can talk to you anytime, anywhere, about anything. Thank you for being the one we can trust no matter what. Please help us remember that we can talk to you anytime, however we might be feeling or whatever we might be going through. Thank you for being there for us and for giving us your joy, your peace, your strength that will always carry us through the difficult times in life. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name.
Amen. All right, let's take a moment and go back to our friends over at Closer Look for part two. Here we go. Oh, okay, they're back. Over. Okay. <laughs> there are so many ways to communicate today. Texting, FaceTiming. Hey! Sorry about that. <laughs> what I was trying to say is there are still some old school ways of communicating that are still just as fun. Like... Hello! side of this can. <laughs> this is a communication tool you can make right at home. All you need are two tin cans and some string. See, when we talk, our voices vibrate into the air. So when we talk into the can, like so, hello, the vibration travels from one can to the other and into the ear of your friend. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. <laughs> I know! <gasps> Wilson! <gasps> Wilson! Wilson, you gotta check these out! Communication is one of our most basic needs. And in this new modern age, it's so easy. We can talk to anyone, anywhere. We don't rely on the length of a string from one side of the room to the other anymore. We can talk to anyone across the world. And even beyond. What's that, Kyle? Sorry, I couldn't hear you from all the way up here. I was making a point that you could communicate all over the world and even into space now. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool, huh? But also, check this out. It's a Twinkie. Pretty cool, right? So close. What, uh, what are you uh, doing there, Samantha? I'm trying to get this can up to Wilson. Uh, I, I don't think the string is going to reach space, buddy. You have a point. favorite people to talk to. Mine are Samantha and Wilson, but who is that person for you? Remember, sometimes it can be frustrating to communicate the ideas in your head. That's why you gotta have people around you to talk them out with. After all, it is just no fun to talk by yourself, right? What do you think? Maybe we should get a guacamole platter and then a Baja fish taco special? Unless, of course, you're Samantha. Let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> See you guys next time on Closer Look. Let's do it. It's a date. Okay, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Man, I love watching those videos of Closer Look. They are great. I'll be sad when they're gone. But now, it's another fun time. It's time to sing our theme song. So get up on your feet, sing, and dance with me. Here we go. This is my faith. This is my focus. All of my days. I know where my hope is. I live it loud. I shout the chorus. Because I know. Because 
cause I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on looking, looking Looking to you For where I'm going Knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you. I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes. eyes on you. take a minute and focus on one of the people our mission soul hope has helped so watch this video and if you have are able to get a parent or a doll or an older brother or sister who can read a little bit better you can get them to watch this video with you because the child will be speaking in a foreign language and there's going to be little words at the bottom you'll need to read <laughs> Only <laughs> I hope that kid's story tells you just a little bit more about the good things that Soul Hope is doing in Uganda. They do great work to help kids and adults fight jiggers. The truth is not all kids have it like we do. A lot of kids don't have shoes or socks or anything like that. We have a lot of things here today, but kids in different countries need help. That's why by donating money to Soul Hope, you can help a lot of kids and adults. And just like when we give our shoe boxes for Samaritan's Purse, we help kids who don't have a lot. And I'll be honest with you guys, we're quite a bit away from pink hair. Remember, we need $400 for pink hair. I know you all are all about that, so keep giving to help Soul Hope and give yourself a big laugh if I have to turn my hair pink. You know guys, I've had a lot of laughs and a great time with you all today, and I've loved learning with you too. Let's take another look at our bottom line. Our bottom line says simply this, you can pray anytime, anywhere, about any sin. That's so true. Can you pray at 6 in the morning? Yeah. Can you pray at 6 in the evening? Of course you can. Can you pray at the dinner table? Can you pray in your room? Can you pray at church? Can you pray with your family? Can you pray with your friends? Yes, 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 yes. You can pray anywhere, anytime. 
about anything. Can you pray when you're happy? Can you pray when you're sad? Can you pray when you're worried? Can you pray when you're mad? Of course, God loves to hear our prayers. So the answer is yes to all of it, all the questions I ask. You never have to wonder if it's the right time to pray because God is always listening. And that's what our bottom line says. One last time, we're going to say our bottom line. You can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Praying is an amazing way for us to focus on God. We can grow in our relationship with Him and discover new things about Him every day. All by taking the time to pray. All by taking the time to talk with Him. Think about this question. Just, just for you. This question is just for you right now. I want you to think about it. Our question that I want you to think about is when do you pray to God? But just by yourself. Not at the dinner table, not with your family. When do you take time to pray to God just by yourself? And maybe right now you're thinking, well, I don't. And that's okay. That was the perfect time to start. Maybe you're thinking, well, I do sometimes, but it's usually when other people are around or the same kind of prayer before meals are faced. And that's awesome that you do that. But maybe hearing what Jesus said will inspire you to talk to God a little differently next time. You can be honest with him. You can be yourself. Just think about how you might be able to focus on God by talking to him. Maybe in a different way than you ever have before. You know, that reminds me of our memory verse. Do you know this week's memory verse yet? It comes from Hebrews 12, verse 2. Regardless if you do or not, let's all say it together. It's going to be right up here on the screen. We'll read it nice and slow. Three, two, one. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Hebrews 12, 2. You got it. Let's keep focusing on Jesus. I've enjoyed making this video for you guys today. I wish we were having BBS together this year, but I'm so glad that you're watching it and we can be focusing on God together. Don't forget to do our activity. We don't have an activity video this week, but we do have an activity that you can do. Just click the blue words below this video and you can give your parents a paper that will help you have an activity. And also, we still have our shirts. We still have our shirts. So tell your parents that you want your t-shirt because we ordered one for you. And even if you didn't register, even if mom said, well, we didn't sign up, we have extra t-shirts and I would love to be able to give you one. All right, I can't wait to see you guys again. Have a great week and I'll see you later.